What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I know it's been a pretty long time since we've uh, uploaded. Honestly, life has been getting really, really busy for us. We ended up starting a business to kind of help offset some of the uh, costs and everything like that this is gonna be. Um, but today's video, we're gonna be taking out the dash. Um, we're kind of debating if we really wanna keep it or not. So we're not gonna necessarily throw it away. We're just gonna kind of put it aside, see how it looks. If we like it, then we'll keep it in. Um, or keep it out and if we don't like it then we'll just put it back in because it's a, a pretty nice dash it's not really everything's still intact and everything it's not cracked or anything like that so first things first we're going to take that out and then we're going to continue with the uh the bars uh, we finally got the hoop made see right here uh we had it actually professionally made which took forever what it take like two weeks two or three weeks i guess the shop was really really busy so i'll kind of do so we're gonna go ahead and build a box for this right here, for this uh, cross member right here, build another box right here. Um, we did really thoroughly clean it. Uh, just sprayed a bunch of shit in there and really, really cleaned it out really good. Obviously, uh, you got a lot of surface rust just because just we've been slacking pretty hard on it, so. But everything, we, we got a clear template and everything, so we are ready to go. Um, we start up the engine and everything, it's still running perfect, so. Let's get started. Trying to get this freaking dash out. This thing is a huge pain, man. Huge pain. Everything still looks pretty good. I mean, everything technically worked beforehand. Um, we just don't need it, so. So we'll go ahead and just take this out, see what it looks like. Obviously, this stuff will all be painted. I kind of want to just take everything out and leave it just with the firewall. Um, but again, we're just debating. This is a lot of weight. A blower motor can weigh up to 500 pounds. No, I'm just kidding. That, that windshield here is cracked, so we're gonna have to get a whole new windshield. So here we are. Exposed. It's pretty cool seeing the uh, how it works and everything like that. Not many people actually see a, a, a dash out of a car, so you can kind of see how blower motor works, and then it goes through the vents and all that. So pretty cool, pretty cool to see that. So finally got it out. We'll keep the cluster there and clean it up really good, and see how we uh, how we like it. So we got uh, that center bracket and everything for the radio out. Um, 
Got a lot of these brackets over here out that held in the glove box. Hunter dropped the uh, steering column so we can get some of those other brackets out. So there's a lot of useless crap in here. Uh, obviously the blower motor is gonna come out next. So let's do it. All right guys, so me and Hunter got pretty tired of having to mess with this blower motor, so we really just uh, knocked it out with a hammer, to be completely honest with you. So we'll clean it up a little bit, uh, but there's actually a lot of room uh, beneath that without that blower motor in there. I never realized how much how much room that blower motor really takes up, to be honest. Um, so we got to uh, bypass the heater core. There are the pipes for that. Um, and then we'll be able to move this uh, this last piece in here. So, so far so good. Once we do that, once we get that black piece out, we'll clean it up really, really good, and then we're gonna start working on the frame. So we want to get that out, that way we might have a little bit more room, and then we can kind of get an idea of how we're gonna make this other, the frame for the front, because the frame for the back is, uh, we have an idea on how we want it and everything. I got the base plates welded in, tack welded in, uh, but we have to still plan this out because we're gonna be removing the uh, windshield here soon. So, just take a little break. Getting some grub in us and then uh, we're gonna keep going. Come on, pull her out, boy. Hunter ate dominoes and now he can't do anything. He's useless now. There we go, come on, strong arm it. Let me see what's going on. All right, hold on, pull it. Pull it. Man, look at all that, that gunk built up in there, man. Cool dog. That's a clogged uh, heater core right there. You know what? I know what it is. Hunter, it's the dang clip. All right, so we're trying to get these hoses out, man, for the heater core. And whoever replaced it or whatever put the put the clamps backward, they put them downward so they're really hard to get to. So as soon as we get that out, we can finally get the stupid blower motor out completely. All right guys, after fighting and fighting and fighting, we said, the heck with it, we're just gonna beat the crap out of this thing with a hammer until it finally comes out. So we beat the crap out of it until it finally came out. And as you can see, there's a massive mess. So we're gonna go ahead and clean this up and then we'll keep moving forward. All right, we are looking good, real good. So, they're nice and clean. There's a lot of room in there, a lot. So, everything's nice and clean. Uh, we just tack welded this in, it's nice and level. Uh, we're just doing quick, as I said before a thousand times in the video, we're just tack welding this in so that we can now get this one in here. So that's gonna sit like that. And then we're gonna have a pipe come from straight around this side to right up here. And then we're gonna have this one in the middle go straight up to the 
two right here. So, so far so good. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start cutting some pipe. Actually, as a matter of fact, we'll just go ahead and tack weld these in again, and then uh, clean them up, and then we'll start making the uh, pipes for those first, and then we'll maybe build a box about this. We haven't really decided yet because we're, again, we're not good at, at welding. We're still, still noobs. Um, so, clean it up really nice, but you just don't know what we're gonna do because it's a kind of a pain to get that on there, but we'll figure it out, so. All right, guys, so we've been working on this thing all damn day, so. Here's the finished product for right now. Uh, me and Hunter were actually struggling to figure out how we could figure out these angles because all we have is this uh, crappy little angle thing, uh, tube notcher. So we're gonna do some research and everything and try to figure out exactly how we can make these angles as perfect as possible. That way, whenever uh, the welder comes in, it's really, really soon. So here's some problems. Got the whole entire blower motor and everything out, which looks fantastic. There, you got a lot of extra room. Maybe a what do you think, Connor? Maybe a NOS, NOS, uh, whatever you call it, NOS tube or whatever. Put something in there. But tack welded those in. Tack welded that one in. That base plate. Tack welded the hoop in. So it's coming along pretty good. Here, I'll show you another angle. So this is it from the back. So it's a little hard to kind of see, but it, it measures up right right in the middle. So got to get some pretty thick wheels on the back. Um, probably 3D print some diffusers or something. I was telling Hunter about it. I want to make some, some diffusers for that. So clean it up. Really, really nice. We're really excited with the progress that we made today. So just going to go back to the drawing board and figure out how to make these angles absolutely perfect because it's about a 45 degree angle. It's really, it just really comes down to us lacking the right tools. Um, we just gotta go to Harbor Freight, spend some money, and get it figured out. So, other than that, it's looking pretty damn good. Anyway, thanks for checking the video, video guys out. We'll uh, definitely be making more progress on this thing much, much sooner than the last video. So, thanks for staying tuned.